I had a request from a viewer this weekend that purchased an SVG file from someone who custom designed it, and when they upload it into Design Space, they're having an issue. So we're going to upload the file, and it appears okay in the preview, but when you try to save it, it comes up with this broken preview image. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. And this is just one ca possible cause of this issue. I'm not sure if it addresses all the issues when people see this problem, but it's definitely a problem with this image. And I'm going to show you how we corrected it. I'm going to open the file with Inkscape. And as we can see, the image is mirrored. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over just so I can see what I'm working with a little bit easier. And I'm going to hit the number three key and zoom in to full screen. So one thing that I noticed that needs to be corrected is they did not join the uh, font in the center where it says hello together. So these letters are overlapped, and that's going to create a problem when it's cut. So we'll correct that, but that's not the reason that we're having an issue. I suspect that one or more of the objects in the design did not have a path created. So I'm going to hit Control-Shift-G and ungroup it. And then I'm going to hit it again and ungroup down to the lowest level so that every object is separate. You can see they're all selected separately. So next, with everything selected, I haven't clicked on anything or clicked off of anything. I'm going to go Path, Object to Path. And we're going to change all of our objects to a path. Next, to correct this, I'm going to make some minor adjustments to the letters here so that they're overlapped a little more cleanly. I'll click one, I'll hold shift, and continue to click all the letters. Then I'll go path union. And as you can see, now they're joined, so they will cut out all together. So now I'm going to select all, and I'm going to group them again. And now we'll save this as a plain SVG. And I'll just save it over top of the original file. And we'll go back to the design space and do an upload again. And we'll upload that same file that we just saved. And we see the preview looks good. And now we have our design and we can insert it into our project. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.